originally built as a learning center for the area's youth, Blue Lake has grown to become much more than just that. The Blue Lake Center is an outlet for not just children, but for all individuals in the area to come and enjoy what nature has to offer and just to get away from the busy lives in the city. With only a small staff, continual maintenance of the camp is a challenge and this became even more of an issue after a recent expansion. In 2010, we had 10 cabins built. Uh, those are the cabins that the kids sleep in when they come for residential camp. And um, because of budget, the budget within the project, we didn't get to complete all of the work that needed to be done. And that's the way it would stay, that is, until now. We have an annual Robbie Burns dinner up at the Anglican Church every year, and this year we decided that uh, we were going to auction off four Masons for four hours free labor as one of our fundraisers at the event. After a successful bidder donated the prize to a non-profit group to be chosen by the Freemasons, Blue Lake got the nod. Within our group, we have a lot of uh, handymen, tradesmen, skilled workers, and that's exactly what they needed up here. So the Masons of Cranbrook and Invermere have teamed up to finish off the cabins and complete a few other tasks around the camp. The timing couldn't have been better for us. We have a lot of projects that need to be done here. Tom Pellerin says the work at Blue Lake is one of the ways the Freemasons are trying to raise awareness of their organisation within the community. We always get pegged with the secret society emblem, but we're not a secret society. We're just a group of guys that come together. Our motto is to make good men better men, and we've expanded that philosophy into the community. We want to make our communities a little bit better, and if we can help by volunteering our time, then we're going to do it. The assistance that that provides to us is invaluable. Um, we can start the, the season making sure that we're ready for the kids um, because we know that the actual site will be um, prepared and ready for them. For Go Kootenays, I'm James Farnan.